These are the home link buttons. They're programmable inside your car. They might be in several different models, but this one's a Chrysler Pacifica. And uh, you can program three separate things. Your garage door, or all garage doors, or you could do uh, home lights or a gate, whatever you want. We're gonna program that garage door right there. And uh, on your dash, you'll see this little indicator screen telling you what it's doing. I have the key in the on position. The engine's not running, so if I push this button here, you'll see that it's transmitting channel one. If I push the second button here, you'll see it's in training. There's nothing programmed in that button, so we'll train this one really easy, except for it's not that easy when you're filming and doing it. So let's see. So I got the garage door remote and the second button that I want to train. So I need to push them both at the same time. Now right here is a little light that tells you if it's got it or not. So I'm gonna push this with my thumb and this button here at the same time. There you go, see that? Started blinking faster. It says channel two train, that was it. So the garage door closed because it saw my signal. So now I'm gonna push button here and we'll see if it opens. No, not working. It says it's trained, but it's not working. So what we're gonna do is the car knows the signal, but for some reason it's not communicating it to the garage doors, but it is sending out a signal. So we're gonna train the garage door uh, opener to understand the signal. All right, here's the garage door opener. If I take off this cover, it has this little button that they call the learn button. If I push that, you'll see the light comes on. Now it's ready to learn a signal. And I'm gonna send it the signal from the car. Now you got about 30 seconds to send it before it uh, is reset so I'm gonna push this button and did you see that light went on and off that means it understood it so now if I push this button number two there it goes so even though we followed the directions it still didn't understand the signal we had to go program the actual opener If for whatever reason you want to clear all the codes in your home link buttons, you push these two outer buttons, hold them both down, and then this will begin to blink. And also, you'll see that it says here that the codes are cleared. So that's how to erase all the codes in your home link buttons. There can be several reasons why it's not working if you're having trouble programming your home link system. So if you start from the beginning, make sure you have a remote that's controlling your garage door, a handheld remote that works. Uh, if you need a new one or help program that, you can check the description of this video and there's a link on how to do that. So assuming you have one and it works fine, no problem, push the button that you want to train in your home link system. And if it's button one, push button one and read what it says on your dashboard if it says training then it's ready to accept the code it, it doesn't have any information that it's sending out if it says transmitting then it does have a code that it's sending out and the garage door should be picking it up and uh, if you push the learn button on the garage door opener itself and then push the, the transmitting button on your home link system and it's still didn't blink, it didn't work. The problem could be um, also with the remote itself. I know Genie garage door openers and others probably as well use both 315 megahertz and 390 megahertz signals. 
and I think Jane is set to 315 by default and some home links will only program on the 390. So uh, you can pop open your Genie remote and look and see what setting it's on. Some of them have a switch that you can uh, slide between the two and select what frequency you want to do. So if you put it on the 390 and then try everything again, you might want to clear all the codes in your home link system as well by um, pushing both outside buttons and then trying your new uh, uh, programming with the 390 megahertz on a signal. Um, and hopefully that will work for you. There's a lot of little problems that can go wrong with these and there's a lot of forums, forums dedicated to answering these questions that everybody seems to have. Um, and if none of that works, try going to the garage door opener itself and resetting the entire thing. What happens with garage door openers is they can learn several other codes. Uh, maybe there's some sort of computer glitch. And if you find the learn button, I think on Genie's it might be this little black button on LiftMasters, I think it's purple. You open it up and you hold it down and it should reset all the codes. There's probably a couple printed instructions, but I think you hold it down for at least 10 seconds and you'll see a little flash or something. It'll let you know all the codes are reset and you'll have to program them all over again. So that might be the problem with the door open itself. So give that a try resetting that as well. And hopefully that helps. If you have questions or solutions, leave them in the comments and uh, hopefully it'll help other people who are having trouble as well. Hope this has helped you. Thank you.